All right, ladies and gentlemen. So today we have here the journal bracket. Now, I'm creating a YouTube video for this one because I feel that even though it's pretty simple, all we're doing is creating some X lines and mirroring half of this drawing. We still don't know these features yet, and these new features that are a part of this drawing. So the first new feature is going to be a fillet, which is a curved edge right here. And this fillet is going to have a radius of 0.25. There's a feature for that. Now, also what we have here is a chamfered edge with a 45 degree chamfer. There's two ways to get a chamfer. If we had the length of this chamfer, we would be able to, well, we technically do have the length of the chamfer, but it's not mentioned. You would have to do some maps to figure it out. Now, the easier way is to create an X line or a construction line at a 45 degree angle from this point to get that chamfer. So to begin, I'm gonna create a drawing space or area uh, using our X line or construction line. So I'm in the construction layer property. I'm gonna type in X line. I'm gonna use our origin points as a reference because that's what this is based off of. This is the datum. So I'm gonna offset by 1.5. Oops, sorry. Then I'm gonna offset this by 1.25. That's because 2.75 minus 1.5 1.25. Now I'm going to offset this all the way to the left. That's going to be 2.5. Now we have our drawing area right here. Now all we have to do is just basically do the minor offsets uh, to get a, a drawing form. So I am going to do is we're going to start this line. This line basically is an inch away from the center. So I'm going to go over it an inch. From here, I'm going to go, to go over a, a quarter, 0.25. After that, yeah, I'm pretty much done with the vertical line. Now I'm going to go up. I'm going to go up a quarter inch, 0.25. Yeah, I think that's about it. I also had to create, oh, I have to offset again, I'm sorry. To get this point right here, I'm gonna offset by 0.625 from the center point. 0.625, that's basically where our chamfer starts. So this is where we're gonna create the 45 degree X line. So I'm gonna type in X line, enter. I'm gonna turn off my Snap grid. So 0.625 right here. I'm also going to turn off ortho. And I'm going to press tab 45 because that's the degrees that we need. So as you can see here, it's going to start to form. So let's go into our object layer property, create a line. I'm going to start from our center point or our center right here. I'm going to bring it out all the way to this edge. Let me turn on ortho just to be sure I'm straight. Now I'm going to bring it over here to our last offset edge. Then I'm going to bring it here to the end right here. Then I'm going to bring this to about here and then right here. So we have that going right now. I'm gonna create a circle from our center point. Turn on my snap. That's gonna be a diameter. Make sure you're in center diameter of two. You see that circle touches right there perfectly. Now, I'm going to turn our, our, actually, you know what? I'm going to trim my circle. We don't need the rest of this, okay? So I'm going to trim right now. I'm 
gonna do this side, this side, right here, right here. Now I'm gonna turn off my construction lines. I don't really need my construction layer properties anymore. We already did what we had to do. Oh, sorry. Bring the drawing up. So what we have to do now is create a fillet. Now to create a fillet, you're gonna see this icon here. I think it's gonna come up as a chamfer. We're not gonna use chamfer because we already made our chamfer using a 45 degree uh, construction line. So I'm gonna click the drop down menu from the chamfer and I'm gonna select fillet. It might be fillet there already because you guys never really used it. If it's there, go ahead. You'll be able to see that by hovering your mouse over it and it will say fillet or it'll look like a curved edge. Chamfer will have a slanted edge, but let's make sure we're in fillet. So select first object or, and we're gonna click radius. We're gonna type in our radius at 0.25, press enter. Now we're gonna select the first line and I'm gonna select the second line. And there you go, there goes our fillet. Now, I'm gonna type in join. I'm gonna select everything. I'm gonna press enter. Now, once I do that, you see it's all joined together. I'm gonna select it. I'm going to mirror it. I'm gonna choose this point right here make sure it's downward and then erase source object no now what we're going to do is we're going to dimension so i go into my dimension layer property and i'm going to do linear so i'm going to make sure i'm linear i'm going to take off my snap grid don't we all just hate snap grid right here I'm going to press my spacebar to hurry up a little bit. Spacebar repeats a command. I wouldn't recommend doing spacebar for circle uh, because it'll go straight to center radius. Um, but anything else is pretty fine. 1.25. Spacebar. This edge right here to this edge. 2.75. Uh... This edge right here to this edge. I'm gonna leave it 2.50. Um, I have to do this bottom edge right here to right here, 2.50. I have to do from the center point to this edge right here, 1.50. Uh, I think I'm good for all the linear side. I have to do the angle. So to do the angle, I am going to select angular. And these two points, let me redo that again. Make it neater, sorry. I'm gonna select this line right here and this line right here and I'm gonna bring it out. There we go, 45 degree angle. Now, what we also have to do, uh, oh, radius, there we go. So I'm gonna go into the radius. I'm gonna select this radius right here. And there it goes, okay? Now, I'm gonna bring this in a little bit Zoom, view, view, zoom, extends. All right, yeah, it's fine like that. All right, so uh, we have to create a center mark. So I'm gonna create center here. Uh, I'm gonna go to the layer property center, annotate, center mark. I'm gonna choose this right here. There we go. Okay. Now, if you want to uh, 
tweak the dimensions around, make it similar. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go to dim side. I'm going to go to make sure it's in standard, modify. I'm going to remove those trailing zeros. To do that, we go to primary units. I have leading already off, and then I have trailing. Uh, not checked, but I'm going to do trailing. Now, we only have two decimals after the zero, so I'm going to change my position as well. Okay, close. I'm going to bring this over here because it's irking me. And I'm going to probably bring it down. There we go. Uh, that's good right there. 1.5, 2.75. This is why I don't like to take off my trailing zeros. Let me put them back on. All right, here we go. All right, and that's it, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for watching.